So, hello, David. How are you? Hey, I'm good, thanks. How are you doing today? Ah, not bad, not bad. Recovering from a cold, but I'm all right. We'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> Uh, no, no Pete today. He, he's a busy man these days, so he is. And so just myself and you. And so this isn't like a full-blown episode like we did before with the Still in 10K. Just thought we'd get you on to speak about like your 5K you're organising coming up called the, the Run Right 5K. And you know, the Scottish Running Podcast, we try and, you know, you know, inspire and motivate more people to get involved in running. And if we can do that by you know, promoting... You know, races like your, like yours and um, gets more people fit and healthy then fantastic and gets more people interested in running then even better so the run right 5k so tell us about that how did that come about well it's, it's nice that you're saying that because to be honest it was pretty much the same reason for me starting it so um like run right in general came about because not not directly linked to running but my my kids were looking to do athletics and they were in that awkward age range of being a bit too young to actually join any clubs so I thought, well, I'll, I'll just do something for them and I'll just take their classes. And it was always about sort of just being fit and healthy and getting active outside. Um, and then that kind of snowballed together with my running into um, doing more and more. <laughs> and uh, over the last sort of year, year and a half, it's kind of led me towards thinking, planning towards doing a race event. Um, and then, yeah, at the start of the year, I just thought I may as well go ahead with it start and see how how the first race goes so yeah i am um, started doing work towards the run right 5k and um yeah it feels like a, a long time it's <laughs> it's been going on now <laughs> yeah. oh, that's, that's good then because it's quite a unique 5k because a lot of 5ks that you've done in the past and my pb is it the the clay bank 5k uh, the, the, no, the vets 5k but it's around three and three quarter laps around uh, an industrial estate yeah, it's is really, really good, but again, but you still got the potential of traffic and the dog walkers in it as well. But your race, it's quite closed off. You know, it, it's round a like you've kind of booked out this kind of like concrete track, and it looks really, really good. So, but what? So, tell us more about the venue. Yeah, so it's in Linlithgow, um, and it's it's built just behind the the sports centre in Linlithgow. So it's a it's a one kilometre cycle circuit track um fully gated flood lit um i don't know how how wide the track is but it's just pretty wide given obviously it's for cycling primarily um but yes it's a really really good venue um it's been built really well um and it's perfect for running um as soon as i was made aware of the venue i went and spoke to the the people involved with um putting it all together and, and they were obviously keen to try and get clubs events and stuff um onto onto the cycle circuit so yeah, there's um, I think there's a lot of potential for it for for running, um, and hopefully for the the races that we're doing, it, you know, it should lend to fast times for people doing the five k. Given there's no obstacles, um, there's sort of minimal turns, no sort of sharp bends like you get in races, etc. Um, so yeah, it's it should be really good for for a good five k race. No sneaky wee hills in there as well, no. <laughs> I think the. Uh, there's there's one point that's sort of like not exactly flat, <laughs> and that's it. So yeah, I think you're you're not really going to, other than a an a track event. You're not really going to get a much um, smoother sort of road event. So um yeah, hopefully that encourages more people to to come along and give it a try and see how uh, see how fast he can go for for five kilometers. Yeah, absolutely. And then the way you're doing it is it like paced races or is it you know people just do put in their entry time and you try and put people in around at the same time or yeah, so kind of going back to what we were saying at the start, it was it was all about sort of health, fitness, active, um, sort of trying to encourage people to be involved in running one way or another. So I wanted to keep that involved with the Run Right 5K and not just have it exclusive to, um, you know, club runners. So we've got a range from 14.20 through to 32 minutes in terms of times. Um, and then once the entries close on Wednesday this week come in, I'll make sure that the... Um, races are then split up based on predicted times. So there's there's looking to be four races at the moment, um, and everybody within those races should be within a couple of minutes to maybe a wee bit more on the earlier races, um, but running with people of similar abilities. So I think it's quite good in that it opens the racing up to a lot of people that probably either haven't done it or um, have only had a sort of short experience of racing before. Um, so, yeah. That's great. I mean, because... I how long you've been running for but 
when I was, you know, 15, 16, I started running, you know, people spoke about open graded meet meetings and they were always on a track, but now I'm starting to see a bit of a trend towards, you know, it's like 5k on the road, you no know, open graded meetings, which is quite a good way to do it, you know, because people when they pass maybe say to me, like, I don't want to do that race because we're full of fast people, but if you're creating that environment, you know, no, you win with people around at your 32 minute pace, which is how I think that's really good what you're doing. Yeah, no, I think so as well. And I'm hoping that, like say, for doing future events and stuff, when people see that there are multiple races and it does suit a lot of people's times, that that'll encourage more people to give it a go going forward. And, you know, if the event works the way that it's planned, we should hopefully have a bigger crowd building as the races go on and then eventually have um, most people there for, for the final fastest race at the end as well. So hopefully from an event point of view, it works out that way. Um, but yeah, I'm sure it will. Excellent. And then... With the event itself, do you manage to attract quite a lot of businesses towards it to kind of help out with the event? Um, yeah, so we've got um, Shoe Socks and Filene Fitness are the, the two main ones that have um, put themselves forward to support the event, which is great. Um, they're two brands that I was aware of from running from social media and stuff anyway and that um I was quite keen on what they what they offer and uh, got in touch with them and yeah thankfully they decided to to help support the event so we've got prizes getting put up from both of those companies which is which is fab um Filene Fitness are actually coming along on the day with some of their merchandise as well so that should be quite good for for them to be able to show what they're what they're selling and people to see their um their clothing options um, and shoe socks are sending over their sort of advertising banners, logos, etc., for us to display on the day as well. So that'll be a, quite a bit of setup for me in the morning, but I think that'll be quite a cool way to to bring in a couple of businesses to it as well, which is which is nice. Um, so that's on the sort of prizes side, and then we've also got you can sport who do race commentary and music um, through through running events. So they've been at um, quite a lot of well, probably lots of. Um, High profile events they did at EMF um, earlier this year, um, and also the QA uh, 5K. They've done that um, a couple of years back to back, I think, as well. So um, those guys are great. That's where I first seen off them being at the QA 5K, speaking to Dan, the organizer, about them. And yeah, we've got them on board to do um, similar music and commentary while the races are going on. So quite excited about that as well because it gives a bit of extra atmosphere and um, something to hopefully push people on a bit more. It sounds like a great event. That sounds like a little bit of a right good atmosphere in that as well. And, and so, what time? What kind of what kind of time does the event say? What what time's the first race at? So we're aiming to have nine forty five for a start for the first race, um, and then depending on what the sign ups are up until Wednesday, uh, the races will probably run up until just before twelve o'clock. So, um, about two hours fifteen, they'll probably cover the four races, um, and then after that, we'll be doing sort of prize givings and stuff. So, um, yeah, that's that's the plan at the moment. Um, hopefully, with this chat, we'll get another influx of uh, entries coming in. Um, fingers crossed. But um, as it stands just now, that's that's what the plan is. Well, that, no, no, hopefully, hopefully well, that's the idea as well. Hopefully, try and get more people involved in, in the event. Uh, same as it's still in 10K as well. Hopefully, get a lot more people involved in the event yep. and enhance it, you know. Uh, and what date is that again? So, that's Saturday, the 2nd of September. So, it's, uh, it's next Saturday. So, it's, it's pretty yeah. close. Um, I should have organised to, to have this chat with you a bit earlier. <laughs> oh, that's right. This, life gets in the way, so it does. Uh, but talk about 5k I think you've got quite a good 5k time yourself you're just under 15 minutes aren't you uh, yeah it's, I, I hit 14.59 last year um, at the QA 5k which was a, a huge milestone for me um, I started running just during Covid just to keep fit and be active with like the gyms and stuff closed and yeah it kind of snowballed from there and I realised I should probably have done it a lot earlier <laughs> so uh, yeah that's that's my sort of preferable range um, sort of 5 maybe 10k um, I've had quite a few injuries this year but I'm hoping to get back to doing some competitive racing um, if not towards the end of the year definitely next year so yeah so no racing for you next Saturday just a lot of organising <laughs> yeah absolutely I had that very very small doubt when I first started to plan whether I would be running in a race and I thought no that's a bit silly there's uh, enough to be doing on the day so <laughs> I'll, save, I'll uh, save my entry for another day that's <laughs> <laughs> great and know so I'll be here next Saturday in the the entries close on Wednesday as well. Is that via Entry Central? 
Yes, so we're on Entry Central. It's um, if you search for Run Right Five K, you'll find find the entries on there. Um, entries close at midnight on Wednesday, um, just to give us time to get the start lists over to the timing company to, um, have everything organised for Saturday. So yeah, still four or five days left to sign up and hopefully see more more names appearing on that list. I mean, that gives people a chance as well. Um, if they've maybe ran through the whole summer not hit their five K time etc. They want they want another chance. It's a good opportunity for them to get into a, a race around with people at their own level as well to try and get that one last PB before the winter training starts. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And there's, there's, I think everyone's aware, there's a lot of other events on in and around the same time. Um, 5Ks, 10Ks, half marathons. I think there's ultra marathons going on just now as well. And we've had quite a lot of people sign up who are doing some or all of those events. You know, some people are using this solely as their 5K PB attempt. Others are using it as a bit of more of a training run towards another event. So I think it's quite nice that we can have that and you can still get a good effort put into a sort of race environment. Um, even if it's not your sort of sole focus. So, um, yeah, hopefully it works in well for people. Brilliant. Brilliant. I wish I'll, I'll be marathon training next Saturday, well, just the start of it. So if I wasn't, then I'd be singing up myself, you know, but maybe next year. Yeah, no, I'll definitely get in for the next one. I've uh, I've not got firm plans on what the next race will be, but um, providing this one all goes to plan and goes well, which I'm sure it will, I'll um I'll get back onto that after maybe a bit of a bit of a break for a week or two. It's been a, a lot of a lot of admin for the last couple of months. <laughs> yeah, I can I can only imagine. That's it. Sounds like a, a lot of stress when you're organising these things, but hopefully on the day it'll be it'll go nice and nice and smooth. Yeah, no, absolutely. And it's nice because it's something that I'm passionate about and something that I really enjoy. So although it's a lot of sort of work behind the scenes, you know, it's for a good reason. Um, and a lot of people are going to enjoy it and hopefully walk away with um, uh, a time that they're happy with. So if that happens, then I'll be happy to. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Right, well, thank you. And um, that'll be...